Very good morning to all of you. So today, you are going to have a wonderful day because we are all here today to observe eight precepts. We are observing eight precepts because we are going to celebrate the great leaders' auspicious things, isn't it? On Vesak Day. Our great leader, the Buddha, born on Vesak Day, enlightened on Vesak Day, and finally passed away on Vesak Day. So we are celebrating all these kind of memorial things on Vesak Day. Friends in Dhamma, you all came to Buddhist Mahavihara to memorize the good things the great person have done for all of us. You know the Buddha. To be the Buddha, he sacrificed all his samsara to others. Sometimes he sacrificed his wife. Sometimes he sacrificed his children. Sometimes in the samsaric life, he sacrificed, he donated the body parts for to be the Buddha, to fulfill of perfections. So that's why we all always as Buddhists celebrate the great leader on Vesak Day. And every part of his life, when he's, he was born, in, there were auspicious things, you know. He walked on the lotus flowers. So that is an auspicious thing to celebrate. When he become the enlightened person, the whole world changed. Even the nature changed. So we are celebrating that. Why do celebrating Buddha's passing away? Normally, we are not celebrate anybody's death, no? Isn't it? We feel so sad when somebody is dying. Actually, here, we are not celebrating the Buddha's passing away. We are always think he's alive because the Dhamma is alive. Uh, the dispensation is still going on. So we pay gratitude, we pay homage to the, the enlightened one, the Supreme Buddha. So we will respect to the Buddha, the honor to be the blessed one, worthy one, fully enlightened one. Say three times sadhu. So on behalf of Vesak Day, you all gathered here to have eight precept program. Normally, in normal days, as ladies, as lay people, you are following five precepts, isn't it? Okay, as Buddhists, we all following eight, pre sorry, five precepts. Today, little bit different. Hmm? We call Adisilena Sikkati. Adisilena Sikkati. That's mean not like normal days. You are going to have a little bit higher morality for yourself. You are going to be more virtuous today. So it's a pleasant moment, isn't it? So I'm going to ask a question from you. Why you came for the eight precepts program. Most of the, have you think about that before? 
why I am coming to the eight precept program. Hmm? So I'm pretty sure that you are having different kind of answers. Maybe that you have understand. However, finally, I have to accumulate more merits in my, to fulfill my samsaric journey. Maybe you have understand, I have born like a human being. So I have to take the maximum advantage of that human life. Maybe that you have understand, I born alone. However, even though it doesn't matter who am I, one day I have to die. So these kind of things maybe you have understand. So I'm so glad, I really appreciate you all being Buddhist. So you want to have a, another step in your life. So having eight precepts, normally five precepts, eight precepts. We have three different, uh, three more. And in, according to the five precepts, we are changing the third precept when we are taking the eight precepts. Okay, I took a stanza as an example for my Dhamma preaching. Ye gahatta punyakara sila vanta upasaka dhamme na daran po senti matali I know that you didn't understand this. Okay, we'll go one by one. So I quoted this one from commentaries. So this is behind on this stanza, the, there is a nice story. You know Sakra, the highest god from the panel of the god, okay, deities. The Sakra one day getting ready to go somewhere. The Sakra's driver was Matali. Okay? The Sakra is the superior god, the leader for the gods. Okay? All right. And the driver, Matali, saw that hmm, Sakra, the deity, supreme deity, worshipping to somewhere. Worshipping to somewhere. Put the hands together and worshipping. So, Madhalis was wondering and surprised why everybody in this world worshipping Sakra. Hmm? Because he is the superior and the leader of the all deities. Where he is worshipping? Huh? To whom this person worshipping? So Madhali had several questions. So suddenly, the driver, Matali, went to see the Sakra and asked, O oh God, the Lord of the God, to whom you are worshipping? To where are you worshipping? At that time, the Sakra told this stanza, Ye gahatta punyakara sinavanta upasaka. Ye kahatta means ladies, not like me, but like you all, the people who have in the lay life, engaging with the lay life. Punyakara, always virtuous, always maintaining morality, always doing meritorial deeds. Silavanta upasaka. Silavanta means the virtuous people. Mm? Those who always maintaining morality with them. Upasaka means always controlling verbal, body, mind, actions. 
Yegahatta punyakara sinavanta upasaka. The people who staying in the human world as ladies and they are so virtuous and maintain their morality. Dhammena dharan ho seti. Dhammena means doctrine. Dharam ho seti means always following the Buddha's path, always following the doctrine, always following the what the Buddha taught. Huh? Dhamme nadaram po seti, always take the doctrine to their self. Study the doctrine always. Thannamasami matale, I am worshipping for them matale. So see, the sakras, the highest leader of the God panel, also worshipped the lay people who virtuous, who maintain in the morality. So see the importance of the following being a virtuous person. Uh, today, normally, for example, you worship to the all the bhikkhus and bhikkhunis, isn't it? Why is that? Because they are following high morality, high virtuous than you. For example, I am following 10 precepts. Huh? And Bhante is following more than 298 precepts. For a bhikkhuni, there are 311 precepts. Huh? That means higher morality. Even though we are so young, hmm? I don't think that I'm so young, but even though we are so young, everybody, so you all elder than us, but you, are, but you all worship us. Why? You respect our virtuous. You respect our morality. Like that, hmm? today, you are higher than five precept people. Huh? You are really higher than other lay people. So everybody will worship you today. Not only because of your age, but also today you are more virtuous person. So that's why Buddha always says, seal morality, being a virtuous person always make you a higher position. And also, it's a very big weapon. What do you mean by weapon? To save your mind, body, and verbal actions. So, Panati Pata Veramani Sikkapadan Samadhyam. So every day you are taking, I observe the precept, abstaining from the killing. Uh, today you observe that also as normal. Okay. Adinna dana veramani sikkapadan samadhyami. That means you observe the precept, abstaining from the stealing. Uh, so Every precept, we can see several parts. For example, once you say, I observe the precept, abstaining from the killing means that you are not involving any kind of harming actions. Even you are not advising. Huh? You know, the advising for, sometimes you are not killing. But, People are there to advise the people to kill. It's also under the same precept because the intention is most important thing. You may not steal anything, but maybe you saw somebody stealing. Maybe you, are, you advise somebody to steal. That also coming under the same Precept. Okay. The third one. In five precepts, normally you observe 
అబ్రహ్మచర్య సారీ కామే సుమిచ్చాచార వేరమని సిక్కాపదం సమాధ్యామి దట్స్ మీన్ ఇన్ ఫైవ్ ప్రిసెప్ట్స్ యూ సే ఐ అబ్జర్వ్ ద ప్రిసెప్ట్ abstaining from the sexual misconduct but today what do you mean by sexual misconduct that's mean you are not engaging with any kind of extramarital affairs ah huh? that's the meaning but today you are observing abrahmacharya veeramani sikha padan samadhyame what do you mean by that i observe the precept abstaining from the all kind of sexual intercourse that's mean today you are going to avoid all kind of sexual activities not only that most of the time people think that uh this is for the almost having uh, sexual activities but there are some sort of other meaning also so once you going to have a sensual pressure pleasure okay it's also under this precept if you want to entertain your eyes more so you break this precept if you want to entertain your tongue more i mean taste food more it's also under this precept if you want to hear the lovely rhyming songs today so it's also under this precept so all the five sensual senses so you have to control today all right by controlling this all the sensual things you will be able to save this precepts okay fourth one musa vada veramani sikha padan samadhyami i observe the precepts abstaining from the telling lies okay for, for so today once you speak you have to be very careful ah so why is that ah, what i'm going to talk is this good thing to talk ah uh, am i talking unnecessary things ah uh, am i talking other others matters ah uh, am i telling something lie ah uh, something not true so you have to think ah uh, once you speak okay sura meraya majja mama dattana veeramani sikkapadan samadhyami that's mean i observe the precept abstaining from taking all kind of intoxicant hmm today you are not going to have any kind of thing make your mind unstable make your body unstable something not good for your body ah uh, so keep that in your minds normally you are following these five but today you have three more sixth one vikala bhojana veramani sikha padan samadhyami i observe the precept abstaining from the not to eat food between noon and the following day that's mean after 12 o'clock today you are not going to have any food why is that hmm as reverence so we are not having the food after 12 o'clock buddha enacted us that do you know the behind story of this okay why would the give la- this kind of precept not to eat after noon so for example when you have lots of food how do you feel sleepy and can't keep the mind properly ah huh? 
uncomfortable. Hmm? When, once you eat something a lot, you feel so uncomfortable and sleepy. Huh? I was wondering whether I can conduct this uh, Dhamma preaching in the morning. Uh, I, I was talking with my brother and said, don't know they feel sleepy after having morning breakfast done. So I'm so happy that you are listening to my Dhamma preaching. That's mean you know your limits. Huh? Before you eat, you know your limits. So Buddha enacted, if you having so much food to your body, it it's can't, it's unbearable for your body. Huh? Can't keep your mind stable when you have lots of food. So reduce the food today as well as that is the one thing and the second thing is second thing is once you have the having food is not our main thing in the life isn't it some people they are think that having the food is the main thing of our life and always they try to eat so they don't have time to do other things, isn't it? Okay, so that's why Buddha always advise, when you observe the precepts, keep that in your mind. You have to, you don't want to have meals after 12. And it's make you so comfort, it's never uh, feel you sleepy, and also, once you do meditation, it's so easy for you. For example, those who are having very thin body can sit a lot of time in the floor, isn't it? Huh? Okay. But if just like me, if somebody have the plummy uh, figure, plummy body, it's really hard to sit in the flow for a long time. So that's what Buddha always saying, maintain your body. Huh? So have a limitation. It good for your health also, no? These days, for example, everybody or most of the people in this world have diabetics, cholesterol. Huh? pressure because sugar and everything all these coming most probably because of the food we take huh? no exercise huh? only having the food so and and also some sort of a because of the stress also we are having these kind of thing however today you are only going to have two meals morning and lunch done only. After that, you only have a tea, coffee, the very light drink to, I mean, maintain comfort of your body. Okay. The seventh one, long, long precept. So, Natcha Gita Vadita Visuka Dasana Mala Ganda Vilepana Dharana Mandala Vibhusanattana veramani sikkapadan samadhyami. Too long, no? Okay, we'll see what is that. Natcha Gita Vadita. Natcha means dancing. Gita means music. Vadita, drumming. Okay? All right. Visuka dasana mala. Visuka jogs. Ah, dasana means entertainment things. Okay? See, today you have to be very... Hmm? Control yourself a lot, no? Okay. Today, you can't do any dance. Ah? Today, you can't sing. Ah? What are the other things? Today, you can't do any drums. You can't play any drums or music or any kind of instrument. Today you can't do the jokes with your friends. 
and making laugh, I mean noise, noisy laugh, isn't it? Okay, and also, ma visuka dasana mala. Dasana means today you can't watch any entertainment things. Make you so, um, make, make, make you always, uh, how do you care? Make yourself always um, unnecessary moments. For example, once you watch something, uh, we, we are going to watch a movie. So you forget all your precepts. Uh, you pay your attention for the movie. So today you are prohibited to watch any kind of entertainment things. And mala ganda vilepana dharana manda. No guardian, no ornaments, no perfumes, no creams, no makeups. Today, so you avoid all the things. Vibhusa nattana vera mani sikkhapadan samadhyam. Today, you are not going to see all of you wearing white. Most of you wearing white. So don't you have fancy dress in your house? You have, no? A lot. But you didn't wear that today. Why? Today is very charm day, very simple day. Huh? You are not going to wear any kind of fan fancy things, decorated things. The things that get attention. Uh, today, you are not going to have any kind of those things. So the, all these precepts taking you to where? Finally, we come to that part. Okay, do you, do you understand the seven precept? All right. The eighth one. Ucha sayana maha sayana veramani sikapadan samadhyami. Ucha sayana, hide seed. Mahasayana, white seeds. Okay. Today, you are not going to have hide and white seeds. That means comfort seeds. No, but it's okay if somebody having any kind of, I mean, there are uh, illnesses for us, no? Sometimes even I can't uh, sit for a long time in the floor. Pain's coming. Once the pain's coming, you can't control your mind and pay the attention. You always think about, oh, my leg paining, uh, oh, my back burn, paining, like that. So better if you use uh, some sort of a uh, seat to maintain your mindfulness, okay? So Buddha advice, today you are not going looking for any comfort, uh, any Hide and white seat means give you a high profession. Give you a high, I mean, once you have something high, it's make you pride. Isn't it? Okay. So today you are not going to have any pride with you. Uh, only use very simple charm seat to observe eight precepts. So do you understand these eight precepts and different between five precepts and eight precepts. So all this teaching, all these precepts took us for a something that is observing precepts, being virtuous, morality, always connect with, controlling with, your speech, mind, and body, okay? How to control your mind? Maybe you are here, your body is here. You all looking at me. So I think that, wow, these people listening me very well. Uh, they might understand very well what I'm preaching, but, hmm, Sometimes, durang gamang ekacharang asarirang guhasaya. That means your body is here uh, and your eyes are open. Maybe your mind is, it had, is at your home uh, with your children. 
with your family members or within your office, working place or somewhere. Huh? That's why always, that's why always says you have to control your mind very well today. Pay your attention, mindfulness today. Sometimes some feelings, some memories may be disturbing you for your mind uh, most of the time. There is a nice saying, Atitan nanu sochanti napitikke anagatang pachuppan nena yapenti tena maggo pasidati. I'm preaching you how to control your mind always. There is a nice story. Once a goat came to the Buddha and asked, this is in Baddeka Ratta Sutra. The sutra called Baddeka Ratta. That means how to sleep well. Okay, how to sleep well. Do you have a nice, did you sleep nice in the last time, last night? No, that means something struggling in your mind. Most probably, if you can't sleep, that means something disturbing to your mind. Okay. One goat came to the Buddha and asked, Oh, Buddha, your disciples are so beautiful. Your disciples, all the disciples are so beautiful. And this temple this Chetavana Rama temple is really silence. So what is the reason behind that? So what are the two things that God asks? Your disciples are so beautiful. And this temple is so silent. So what is the reason behind that? At that time, Buddha preached, nanu so chanti. My disciples are not suffering, not thinking so much about the past things, past incidents. Okay? And napatikke anagatam. My disciples are not dream or think so much about the future. Pachupanena ya penti tena maggu pasidati. My disciples are always concerning about the present moment. Present moment. And the present moment is the pleasant moment. So think about that. Once you are going to think about or suffer, suffer a lot about the past incidents or things that happened in the past, it's always disturbed to your mindfulness. Isn't it? Agree? Okay. Can you change the past? We cannot. We, nev we never change the past. Huh? So... By suffering, thinking about the past incident, is that give us any result? No. Only suffering. Only make yourself sad. But hmm, you can take advantage the in in incidents which have happened in the past can take as an example for your life. Uh, take the advantage of the incidents which have do done in the past. Napatikke anagata. Future. Once you dream a lot in about the future, what makes you? It makes you always hmm? worry. That's what word I want, worry. Why? When you hope something, uh, when you dream something, if you cannot accumulate that, it always make you unhappy. It make you worry. 
oh, I couldn't achieve this. How much I hard work, huh? it's make you sad. That's why Buddha always advise us, just don't dream a lot about future. Pachupan nena yapindi tena maggo pasidate. Always try to maintain, keep your mind in the present moment. That's what I want to advise you here also. To control your mind, control your mind, you should forget everything what happened in the past, everything what you are going to do in the future, uh, just pay your attention to the present moment. So today, you are not going to think any of these things. Uh, only listening to the Dhamma preaching, doing the meditation, uh, as the uh, Bhante advise us, once you're having your dana, you have to do that with the mindfulness. So all these things will help you to maintain your mind in the present moment. Next, how to control your verbal actions? Hmm. Today, today it will be so silent day. Normally once you come into the Buddhist Vihara, is you see of each your friends, I mean normally once you see a friend, you are saying, hello, hi, how are you? It's so nice to see you here today. How the things going on? I did this, uh, you did this one. Uh, these kind of things you are exchanging, no? With the friends. Today, you are not going to talk anything like that. To, so that means you have to control your words today. Hmm? When it is so necessary, that's the time you are going to talk. So you have to control your word today. And also, body actions. So we learn how to control mind. We learn how to control our verbal. And also today we are not going to tell lies, not going to talk about other things not going to spread any kind of nonsense things and anything, everything we are controlling today. And body, how to control our body? Once you walk, once you sit, once you are uh, eating, every time your body must be in your under control because always you are maintaining mindfulness once you walk also, now I am walking. Once you eat, now I am eating. Everything you are doing by your body, you should control yourself. Why I am preaching these things to you? Because observing eight precepts is the, the primary step or the very beginning steps to the path of liberation. The Buddha always advise, you know the eightfold path, the eightfold path always connecting with the morality. When you have the right speech, when you have the right action, when you have the right livelihood, when you have the right mindfulness, all the things, when you have the right things with you according to the Eightfold Path, that means you are always controlling your mind, body, and verbal action. So this is the, I mean, primary step of the path of liberation. So you are in that stage. So you are different from the other ladies. You, you took another step in your life. As I mentioned earlier, being born as a human being, you understand that I have to take the 
maximum advantage of the human life. Sometimes you didn't born as a Buddhist. Maybe sometimes you didn't born as a Buddhist. But once you spend in your life, you understand, you understood, I can have fruitful life by following the Buddhism. So the Buddhism is not for only advising to have a, have, having a good mundane life, but also it always advises us to have a good, successful, super mundane life. So this, in these commentaries, most of the time, it says that what are the benefits but what are the benefits gives you by following eight precepts? The first thing is you are having a training. Even though you are doing this in one day, even though maybe you are doing this once a month, maybe you are doing this for a once a year. Hmm? But however, once you always once you practice this, you control, you're having a training to control yourself. That is the first thing. The other benefit is, you know the first qualification, the first main, um, from the, all the criteria, the first thing is sila. Sila samadhi prajna, we call. Sila should be virtuous to go to the final liberation. Once you become virtuous, then you can maintain your samadhi, confidence. Uh, maintain your mind, confidence. Then it takes you to the prajna, wisdom. Okay? Once you maintain your morality, virtuous with you, it leads for the samadhi. That means confidence. See, the people who are so virtuous always have confidence with them. People are not respecting to the precepts, always try to hide him from the society. Why? Because they know they are wrong. Huh? They can't face to the world. Be because they know that people know that they are doing unwanted things. For example, those who are killing, those who are stealing, those who are doing unwanted sexual misconduct, those who are lying to the world, those who are take lots of intoxicant, can face to the society properly? Can? No. Because their conscience knows that. I'm doing something wrong. In this world, everybody can think, ah, nobody knows that I did like that. Hmm? Some, sometimes only you know, ah, I, I did like this. Is that okay? Is that okay? No, always your conscience, ah, always your conscience disturb you. That's make you so suffer. So always, if you, when you are saving your eight precepts, when you are following the five precepts, any kind of precepts, it leads you to have a confidence life. Confident life. Huh? Okay. That's what Buddha always says. When you uh, have the seal, morality with you, it leads for the Samadhi, and finally, with the confidence, you can have the wisdom. That is the most important thing. That's what we are looking for, isn't it? That's what we are always looking for, the wisdom. As human being, do you like to rebirth? Do you like to rebirth? Is it, if it is okay to have a human life, isn't it? 
we can think, ah, it's okay if I'm boning again as a human, like, it's okay. Do you like to born as a dog, cow, cat? Okay, all these cows and cats also had human lives in their previous samsara, but they all misuse that, isn't it? They all misuse that. Because of that, they become like this. I'm not, Ill, I mean, insulting for this animal, but I want to show you the superiority of the human being. Can dogs listen to the Dharma? Can dogs or any kind of animal can do the charities? Can do the dana? Can listen to the Dharma preaching? Hmm? No. They only can do whatever we are telling. Ah, once they get hungry, always dogs barking. Ah, like that. Okay. Then you must understand what a wonderful life you have. Think that how many good meritorial deeds you have done in your previous samsara to be a good human being. Okay. You, so you, you are a good human being. Can you see your eyes properly? Can you see your eyes properly? Okay. Can you listen well? Can you walk well? Once something preach, can you understand that well? Okay. But because you have done a lot of meritorial deeds, but there are people in this world, even though they have got a human life, they can't see the world. They can't listen to the things. They don't have proper mind to understand the things. They, some, some human beings, they can't walk even. So different kind of disabilities. See how you have born like this. May, that's mean you, you have done lots of meritorial deeds in your previous lives. So maintain that with you. Hmm? Don't give up. Huh? If you want to born like this, exactly we can't say what will happen after we are dying. But I can surely say if you do more meritorial deeds, if you always respect to your precepts, if you are virtuous people, if, if you maintain your morality, and virtuous people, definitely you will reborn in a good way. Because it's automatically come for you. If you do good, good will come to you. As well as if you do bad, bad also automatically come to you. So today is a wonderful day. I preach one hour. So I have to give this to the Bantev to do conduct a meditation. However, today is a wonderful day to understand yourself, to have a self-reflection, isn't it? Huh? Go through yourself and before my kindly request from all of you, before leave here, before leave BMV today, Learn something new and go. Hmm? That would be so helpful for you. If you think that you are doing something wrong, correct it and go today. Yourself. And try to be more good than yesterday. That's what my advice for you today. Okay? So on... Uh, behalf of all the merits we have done. We will grant all these merit to the God. Uh, the goal me pro will protect all of us and the may the goal will gods, all gods are attend to the Nibbana with the power of all these merits. Say three times sadhu and follow me. 
So we are going to grant all this merit to the those who gave all the 